Ah, it is so sad to see our creations destroyed, all lying dead. What was it all for? What do we do all this for if they're all just going to die in the end? It just doesn't seem fair, you know? We worked so hard on our clone army, we done all the research, we done all the construction, we done all of the murders and the killings. It's just, it's just not fair. I think we've waited around long enough though. We've waited day after day, month after month. As the seasons change, I just sit here hoping that they'll get back up, but they never do. I just wish that there was someone who could do something about this. Dear God, Napoleon, he lives once more. Good to see you again, Commander. You're looking a little <clears throat> green around the gills, pardon my French. And also your armor is a bit damaged. Maybe we could get you something. Oh, there we go, that's much better. The Commander is back in action, baby. And might I just say that he looks absolutely stunning, fabulous. New armor, a new weapon, the same old rotting body, but you know, you can't have everything. And we even have our old army back. There's only one reason that anyone would bring this clone army back from the dead. To destroy, pillage, and conquer. And that's exactly what we intend to do. However, our home has been destroyed in the previous battle. We're going to need a new one. It also appears that while we've been gone, there's some new factions on this planet. One of the more interesting factions apparently controls a void tech laboratory. I don't know what that is, but I think it'd make the perfect place for a base of operations. So we sent our troops out on foot, and after a few days, they finally arrived at this laboratory. The laboratory was absolutely massive, and that was perfect. It was exactly what we needed. Oh, what's this? I'm sure that's nothing to be concerned about. There didn't appear to be many people, so we weren't too concerned on taking the base. The only real challenge we thought were their defenses. Little did we know what horrors wait within. We marched on towards the base though and immediately began raining down hellfire upon their defenses, destroying most of them. Some of their members began trying to attack us, and though they were extremely quick, we did manage to defeat them as well. Now, let's crack this laboratory open and see what's inside. Oh my god, what the f- Alright, alright, let's calm down. We're going to cleanse this laboratory of the disgusting growth, filth, whatever these creatures are. If we want this base, we're going to have to earn it. By this point, we had cleared out the majority of these infected, the void, scientists, I suppose you could call them, and any defenses they had within. We began going room to room to ensure that everything was clear and to see what our new base held. And then just like that, we had a brand new home. Now, don't get me wrong, it was actually very difficult clearing out void and all of the infected, but we did manage to do it, and we managed to do it without one casualty. And now that we finally conquered this base, we can have some delicious meals. Oh yeah, that's good. You know, Void may be evil, but boy oh boy do they have some comfortable beds. I mean, sure, we're probably laying in some bed where someone's organs were harvested, or maybe they had some kind of experiments done on them, but beggars can't be choosers. And we were grateful for our new home, but the place would need plenty of repairs from the battle. So of course, we began working around the clock to try and repair all the damage that was done. It's also worth mentioning that when we <clears throat> inherited this base, we also inherited all the resources within. So we would immediately begin building some artillery cannons and then immediately begin working on some nuclear bombs to try and defend ourselves from void when they come back. And believe you me, they will come back for this base. Just as well, we're going to be cracking down on research projects to ensure that we stay ahead of the game when it comes to technology. Ah, uh, but we just could not get over how nice this place was. It had it all. Nice beds, we had nice artwork, dragon statues. I mean, we even have red wine. What more could we want? Well, I'm glad you asked, because something that we may want is to build some defenses. Because without defenses, Void is going to come back and absolutely stomp us. So that's exactly what we began working on. We also began deconstructing some of their things like their drop pods so that we could replace them with our very nice ships. Not only were they more efficient, but good god, just look at them. 
That's beautiful. Things were honestly going very well for us. We had a highly defendable large base and it was perfect. We had all the resources we could want except a few. And most importantly, we had our clone brothers. But speaking of our high powered clone brothers, there were also some high powered soldiers nearby. A trade caravan from none other than the UNSC had arrived. They were looking to trade goods and whatnot, but we were more interested in their Spartan soldiers. Not only did these Spartans have some wonderful, powerful armor, but they also had bionic body parts and a joy wire already installed. They were practically made to join our army. However, they didn't exactly feel the same way because when we tried to arrest them to recruit them, everybody fought back. So unfortunately, we had to slaughter them. But hey, on the bright side, we now have two Spartan friends. Well, we will after we brainwash them. And if you're wondering whether or not I added the UNSC faction solely so that I could have Spartans in our army, yes, yes I did. But I mean, I practically had to. Spartans are so badass, and look, it looks just like the meme. Look, you can thank me for adding Spartans in the comment section down below, but for right now, we need to work on some anti-air defenses. Anti-air defenses are going to be quite useful for when we're getting raided by people like the UNSC, the Federation, etc. However, when it comes to Void, that's not exactly going to work because they normally have a Void Flare that's going to shut down all of our electronics. Regardless though, we ended up researching the smaller ones and we ended up building quite a few of them around our very large base to try and encompass the entire area. Later on, we would build a medium-sized one in the center as well. After that was completed, we decided to go on a bit of a bombing run because the best defense, of course, is a good offense. We decided that we would drop two large nuclear bombs on a nearby void laboratory. Now, this is not only to try and kill the inhabitants of said laboratory, this is also to test the strength so that we know how strong our own base is. But then again, if we also wipe out another large void laboratory from the face of the planet, that's not a problem. The two pilots took off and went on their bombing run. Unfortunately though, the bombs basically did zero damage to the base. I'm not sure if there's just so many walls or the fact that the walls are made out of plasteel, but it did basically nothing. The two pilots then jumped back into their jets and took off very quickly before being caught by void. Later on after returning home, we ended up having a massive raid from the UNSC. However, you may notice in this raid, there isn't exactly standard UNSC soldiers. Along with their Spartans, ODSTs, and Marines, there were several soldiers donning T-45 power armor and wielding miniguns. There were also several of their soldiers wearing Grey Knight's power armor and carrying massive incinerators. Just as well as their interesting inclusion of different armors and soldiers from other factions, they also had some alpha mechs along with them as well who were quite powerful. And we asked ourselves, what were we going to do? Well, naturally, we began bombing the absolute shit out of them. And that seemed to do the trick for the most part. We couldn't just leave their remaining forces out there to suffer though, that would be inhumane. So instead of course we went out and blasted them with our very painful burning lasers. And you know, I think that they were pretty grateful that we did. <coughs> Ah, you're welcome, little buddy. Anyhow though, all of those nuclear bombs were beginning to give our soldiers a little bit of radiation poisoning. But that was okay because we all started feeling a little bit better when we realized that the two Spartans had finally joined us. We unfortunately didn't have any of our wonderful blasters for them, but we gave them some of the weapons that their friends have when they die. Now look, I know the Spartans aren't going to be able to single-handedly take down Void or anything, but they're a nice addition to the team, and I'm a huge Halo fan, so it kind of tickled my fancy that they joined us. But speak of the devil, we now have a raid from Void. They immediately began dropping in right on top of us and they also knocked out our electricity, meaning that our anti-air guns done nothing. All at once they burst forth from their pods and we immediately began firing upon them. But after a few moments of fighting, we had actually managed to defeat them. And I have to be honest, I expected much more from the big bad Void faction. <laughs> huh, what's this? Oh, shit. 
A special thanks to our patrons for making this video as well as all others possible. You guys are absolutely wonderful, and if any of you would like to become a patron, the link for my Patreon is in the description of the video as well as the channel bio. And I will also add your wonderful little name to our list at the end of each video. But thank you guys ever so much for watching, I love you so much, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.